pets and children. I like when a kid has a pet for a couple of reasons. One, they learn to share. And I always think the pet gives more to you than you give to the pet because they get you to reach beyond yourself. But you're an only child. I think it's a healthy condition as long as it's a good pet. Am I wrong? Uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, pets are wonderful for kids, although I will say this. Um, it draws out all, it develops empathy, because you're constantly, the child has to assess because the dog can't talk, and we have to think about, is the dog okay, and um, how is the dog hungry, is the dog need to go to the bathroom? Well, wait a minute. They don't talk with language, right. but they have expressive language. Yes. They can actually get you to do stuff. So they really do talk in the word I call expressive language. Is that correct? Absolutely. They express themselves and they, they communicate to you. And when the child starts to focus on another, something other than themselves, it's phenomenal. Um, so it's one of the healthiest things you can do is learn to share. Learn is more than yourself. So you have an only child, especially, that is extremely healthy. And I think long term, you have a better quality of life when you have that kind of situation with a pet and a family. Well, as you know, there are studies that show that uh, people are healthier. Uh, people with problems, often when they're given pets, their medical condition improves, their mental status improves. Well, a good example, two couples are married 50, 60, 70 years, and it's very common that one dies and within a year the other one dies, right. with the exception that they have a pet, because I can't, I still got to take care of yes. Yes. my doggy, my cat, and right. keeps them going. Yeah. There's something, I don't understand all of it. If you have some reason to live, I think you live a little longer. I uh, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't agree with you more because I'm very familiar with those stories. In fact, I see a lot of that in my practice where someone dies and within a year, the other partner dies. Obvious, but the, you're right. If they had a pet or perhaps even someone else that they were taking care of, of course, there'd be the will to live.